Good morning, YouTube. Today is officially my first day of school with students. And as always, I'm just going to do a first day of school video. I have a bunch of stuff on my desk that I need to unpack and put into my office area. So I'm first going to do that and then I'll come back and check in with you and tell you what I'm doing with my students for the day. I have about 15 minutes until school starts, and so I wanted to just catch up with you and tell you what I have planned for my first period class. Now, it is worth noting last year I did not have a first period class. I actually had a duty, so it was kind of nice because I split responsibilities with another teacher. So if I had like copies to make or something to do really quick, they were very helpful and let me go do that. So this year I do have a first period class. It's AP chemistry, so I need to make sure that I am like ready to go. And that's fine because I'm used to that anyway. Last year was really the first year I've ever had like you know not had a class first period after AP chemistry then I have a prep period today so I'll be able to catch up with you and tell you how it went and then third period I have honors chemistry then we move into like my I guess like the kind of the weird part of the schedule so we have lunch periods during period four five six seven eight and so at my school, like we, our classes, like a, a single class would fit into a period four or five and a single class would fit into period six, seven. So I actually have a six, seven AP chemistry class. And then I actually have lunch eighth period. So it is like the last lunch of the day, which is way later. And then I have a duty today. So I have to go do lab duty with another teacher. And then I have a 10th period AP chemistry class. It's kind of nice this first week because I don't have labs this first cycle with students. So I have a little bit more time to like get myself together, prep stuff. And you know, as far as like what I'm doing with my classes, I'll tell you what I'm doing with my AP class. And what I have the students do every year, which has really helped me to like learn their names quickly, is I have them make like a name tent. So I made one so that the students can kind of see what it looks like. I just provided like little, you know, cardstock. I actually have the cardstock in the do now bin. And then I gave them like Sharpie markers. I'm just going to ask them to write their name and then they could sit it on their desk. You know, it sits just like that, nice and easy. They actually take their name tent and they put it in a basket and then they take it out when they need it. So I'm going to ask them to keep them in class. I don't want them taking them with them. So I'm going to ask them to, you know, put them in the basket when they're done and then they take it out again tomorrow. And I'll probably have them do this for about, it takes me about a, like a week and a half, I would say, to learn all the names of my students. I try really hard to learn names, but like I try to do it in under two weeks if possible. So yeah, so I'm gonna have them do that first. That's kind of like their do now. And then I'm gonna transition into like who I am, you know, what my name is, how long I've been teaching, um, my experience. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to introduce our first class norm. So the first class norm is we will be present. And so I talk about the importance of being present, being mentally and physically prepared to learn. And I say one of the ways that we can make sure that happens is by being free of our electronic devices so that we can give our full attention. And so I'm gonna ask my students to put their phones in the phone zone. Um, I'll actually ask them to get up and do that. And then, uh, and then we'll transition into the students handing in their summer packet for their summer assignment. They actually have a test tomorrow, yes. They have a summer assignment test tomorrow. So one of the other things that I want to do with them today is I actually want to play a game with them because there's a lot of naming and formula writing on that test. So I want to make sure that they memorized all those polyatomic ions, all the metals and their charges, and make sure they feel comfortable with that so they can do really well tomorrow. So we'll actually play Blook It. I just did like a quick like Blook It game. I think there's like 20 questions or something for them to practice with. And then I'm thinking about actually giving them like a little prize from the little like sucrose jar that I made that I showed you in the other episode. And then after that, the kids are going to kind of get ready, you know, in terms of looking at their OWL because I use online web learning for our textbook. And then they're also going to have the ability to do a practice test. So as far as the handouts I'm giving them, I'm giving them two things. I'm giving them the course information sheet. This I don't waste time in class going over with all my classes. I used to. Don't get me wrong. I used to every single year. But now I feel a little bit more confident as a teacher. I don't really feel like I need to do that. So instead I give this to the kids, I point out some important things that they want to be aware of, but um, I go over this in detail in an Ed Puzzle video. So I actually like flip this, okay, so that the students know, you know, what's expected of them. So that's one thing I'm giving AP kids. The other thing I talked about earlier is a practice test. So this is a practice test for their um, test tomorrow. I always give them a disclaimer and I say, this is by no means the test. So please don't think, oh my gosh, all I have to do is study this and I'm good. 
that that's not what's happening, but it's just there as extra practice for you. So I always give them that disclaimer. So that's pretty much, um, I think will take me through the 50 minutes with my AP kids. And, um, like I said, I think period two, I'll catch up with you guys, tell you how it went and I'll tell you what I'm doing with my honors class. So until then I'll talk to you in a little bit. I just finished with one AP class and one honors class, and I never got a chance to pop on here and tell you what I was doing with my honors classes today. But I do want you to know that um, my first AP Chem class went very well. No issues to report. They were very, very quiet. I think they're nervous about their summer test tomorrow. I'm trying to be very supportive. They did have fun with the game, so they did play the game today. And I gave out prizes from my little candy jar that I made that I showed you in the other video. And so I think it was fine, but I am worried about them tomorrow. So um, we'll see, you know, I, that game that we played with the Blook It and, and nomenclature, they were just practicing their nomenclature. It definitely shows that some kids, you know, did the work and some kids did not. I hopefully they'll pull it together tomorrow. As for right now, what I want to do is just talk a little bit about what I did with honors. So I did something very similar in that, you know, I gave them the course information sheet, told them a little bit about myself, you know, had them make a name tent. But the thing that was different is I gave the kids cards. So these cards all have different like organic molecules on them. Um, and basically what the kids had to do is that they had to pair up with somebody that has a matching card. So I actually have 30 kids in that class. And so they had to find their matching card. And then what I did is something called Freyer a Friend. So I actually had the kids Freyer a Friend. Um, so I used a Freyer diagram and basically had the kids right there name in the center, but they were interviewing somebody. So they were like actually writing this down for somebody that they were interviewing. And so they had the friend's name in the middle and then they had to describe their classmate, like what they look like, what are four things that they like, what uh, do they like science, why or why not? And then they had to draw like a picture. So this one says like, you know, she likes animals and drew a picture. And then there are, they also had to write out four things that they do not like. I did this activity um, because I, it's been a while since I taught honors. I want to say it's been two years since I taught honors chemistry. I think it's been two years. And I always forget that I have freshmen in my honors chemistry class. So I wanted to be a little bit more inclusive and I feel bad because they don't know anybody. So I wanted them to meet people. So I wanted to keep in mind that, you know, I have freshmen in my class and I wanted them to kind of meet people and get talking and they were very active and, and very chatty. And I was like, great. And they were talking about other things besides the, the frayer. Um, so that was kind of fun. And it lasted a while because after they filled out these diagrams, I gave them about 10 minutes after they finished their frayer friend diagram. Then what I had them do is introduce their friends. So I said, you know, who is your friend? You know, tell me about what you have in quadrant two. Um, and so that got them talking and presenting in front of the class as well. So I want them to feel, you know, comfortable in the class. So that was kind of fun. And then after that, I just gave them a safety crossword uh, for homework. I'm gonna ask them, I wanna do um, like a little activity with some lab equipment on Friday. So I wanna make sure that they acknowledge the safety contract. And then I also had them complete a crossword that just asked them, you know, basically like a lot of questions about the lab contract and what they have to keep in mind. So then tomorrow I'll ask them to hand that in. And that was pretty much the end. You know, we spent a lot of time working on that Freya or friend, but it was, it was fun. And I, I think they really appreciate the fact that they could get up and move around and talk. I gave them a little bit of a classroom tour, talked about, you know, where stuff's located. They can always get up and get stuff if they need it. So I think overall it went really well. So um, right now I am finishing grading some of my summer packets from the AP kids because I'm going to get a whole nother set of AP students next period and I'll have a whole nother set of AP packets to grade. So I want to get those done so that I can get those into Genesis. And then um, I probably what I'll do is I'll just check in with you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll check in with you during my lunch period. So yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. It is the end of the day, and believe it or not, I had kids for extra help today, um, which is good. Like, I love when kids come in for extra help. I 
told the students, especially the AP students, because they have their summer assignment test tomorrow, like, look, guys, you know, I'll be here for extra help. If you need something, feel free to come on in. And there were like a whole bunch of kids that came in and I was really happy. I mean, they were asking like nothing crazy, like, you know, more like questions about like naming and formula writing, which is fine. Um, but it, it went really well. I, I think that I'm glad that they decided to come in. I'm glad that they, you know, felt like they could ask questions of me. They felt comfortable coming in. That's always a sign, like how comfortable the student feels if they go in for extra help. Um, so yeah, so it was a good day, a very busy day, of course. This first day back to school is um, always so chaotic and trying to get used to my schedule and remembering the bell times. And it was a lot, but I'm glad it's over. I... I'm not super exhausted, but I definitely have some work ahead of me tonight. So as I mentioned, the kids in the AP classes are taking their summer test tomorrow. So I have a lot of summer packets to grade and look over. And then tomorrow I'll have them turn in their notebooks that have both problems and summaries. And I need to look at both of those things. Basically their placement in the class is contingent on them actually completing the work that goes along with it. Um, obviously it'll come out on the test. They also need to have a score of an 80% in order to remain in the class. That's just a way to assess their preparedness for the class. So that's kind of where we're at. So I need to go home, um, kind of work on some of those packets. I want to make sure my test is ready to go for the kids tomorrow. But other than that, I am in really great shape. So that was pretty much it for me for my first day of school. It was a very successful first day of school, year 16 down in the books. I hope you too had a wonderful first day of school. And as always, I will check in with you next week.